Morning. Did you guys watch yesterday? Yesterday's vlog was pretty awesome. At least I hope it is. I haven't edited it yet, but I think the uh, the day was pretty good. Went a lot farther than I thought I was going to. Today is a short jump to Tai Tung. I'm gonna stop there for a couple of days to edit some videos, catch up on those, and uh, get some new uh, brake pads and stuff for my uh, for my brake to fly up as I uh, head up the East Coast. Seems like the East Coast is gonna go a little bit quicker than the West Coast. I'll stop for a couple of days to catch up on videos, I'm sure, but there won't be factory visits and all that extraneous stuff, so it's gonna be a good day. No clouds in the sky, though. It's gonna be a hot one. You see the moon? I don't know if I'm pointing to it. it should be right around that way. So I guess there will be some hills here as the road meanders up and down the, the cliffside. I also was told that I'd be exposed to some uh, uh, problems with regards to landslides from the typhoon. This project looks like it's been going on more than a couple of weeks, but I wonder how many of these stoppages I'll have as they try to rebuild from maybe a a road that's been swept away or something. But it looks like this road's gonna be interesting. It just kinda edges out here over the uh, over the hillside only one one lane of traffic open so they've got to let us through and then them through and then us through and then them through fun stuff So that traffic stop back there was quite nice. It stopped all the traffic in my lane. Everybody kind of shuffled past me. I knew that I was the last guy in that uh, traffic stop. And I knew I had about, geez, it was almost like five or 10 minutes of zero traffic in this lane. So I was able to fly that drone pretty confidently. I probably wouldn't normally fly it when I'm trying to deal with this coastal road, but with that traffic, even right now, I'm pretty sure I've got another five or 10 minutes of no cars that uh, I could use this whole area of lane if I wanted to. Woo, that cliffside was steep. According to my uh, computer, I got a couple more of those. Man, I gotta do a video about that Mavic Air. It just does not keep up. That Mavic Pro, when I uh, put the pedal to the metal on that thing, I could stay in front of me no matter how fast I was going. Now. I mean, we got a little wind here, but it's nothing crazy. It can't keep up with me when I'm going 15 kilometers an hour. That's nothing. I keep having to lay on my brakes and like slow down, wait for it to catch up, slow down, wait for it to catch up. The Mavic Pro was real fluid. I'd, I'd ride past it and then I'd slam it. It would fly back to where I was. It was, uh, it was a lot better. I still love the uh, size of it and the weight of it is still pretty awesome. I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that it's it's just so sluggish. I mean, I was missing some shots. I really liked how the Mavic Pro would keep up with me even if I was flying at like 40 or 45 kilometers an hour. It would just stick with me and I could get that you, you really nice, beautiful moving shot. But then again, that Mavic Pro, it would fill up my side bags almost completely. Right now I've got the drone, the controller, two batteries and a bunch of other stuff in there. And if I had the Mavic Pro, I think it would be all Mavic Pro, pretty much. These are nice roads. This is a nice shoulder, actually, I'm in right now. But for the past uh, five kilometers, there was no shoulder. Hugging the, hugging the shoulder. Hugging it tight. Uh, but everybody here seems really nice. I'm not concerned for my safety at all. You know, you can see, I'm always looking at my side view mirror, and 
I'm looking for them to kind of shuffle over to the left and everybody does and if they don't seem to I, I kind of hug their shoulder a little bit more or I'll raise my hands up in the air and then they get the picture but I've only had to do that like once and they were already moving over I just did it to reinforce my own safety anyways beautiful there are some heavy duty waves here heavy duty monsters those aren't so bad but up there oh boy I saw a couple of rollers earlier they would have crushed a trike to a to a tin can That was a beautiful downhill. Golly. Didn't work too hard getting up there. It wasn't like really, really high, but it sure was nice to come back down. I need to find a little grocery store or something. I need to get some H2O. I don't like to carry too much H2O on me if I know there's gonna be stores. It's just needlessly heavy. Looks like there's a special fruit that's grown in this city. I'm not sure what it is, but before I leave, I should at least try one. They're like right next to the dragon fruits. So they're like similar to a dragon fruit, but I've never seen them before. You ever seen this before? Yeah. Shinja. We'll make kandala. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. She's, she's roads. People drive up there, ask her for betel nut, and she, uh, she gives it to him. Bye bye. Oh, Joe Kwai. Joe Kwai? Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Here. Yeah. Interesting. A little bit gritty. But it's good. Hacha. 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 It's a lot of meat though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is so good. Hmm? Sheesh. apple Ooh. My glasses are covered with salt a little bit messy they sort of fall apart on you this one's been refrigerated I think it's so much better it's got the consistency of a, a durian so it's kind of like the like the like it's custard almost like that's sort of slimy but it, but it's not slimy this one is less slimy than a durian it's sweet and almost sugary like you get towards the edges and it gets gritty like you're chewing brown sugar really good what sometimes i wonder why we don't have fruits like this in the states or as as prevalent because i bet people will really enjoy these yeah you see this part oh i'm getting myself all messy Wow, I haven't been so pleasantly uh, surprised by a 
chance uh, eating of a something I haven't really known before in a very long time. I was not expecting that to taste so damn good. It was kind of like eating like apple cheesecake with brown sugar crust. Yeah, like a creamy, a creamy apple cheesecake with graham cracker crust. Mmm. All right, back on the road. Hey, another thing. That was a beetle nut stand where people uh, sell beetle nuts, and cigarettes, and drinks and stuff. I've gotten some people kind of letting me know that maybe I was painting the beetle nut situation as like a prostitution thing. Beetle nut girls used to dress very scantily clad. I have seen a few scantily clad beetle nut girls, but most of them are just small shops that sell beetle nut to people that drive up on the roadside, honk their horn, hey, and then they come out and give beetle nuts. They sometimes can be young and uh, pretty because they want to sell their beetle nuts as opposed to the other stand, so I don't know. Anyways, that was that was a beetle nut and a uh, and a sweet custard apple place. Woo, that was good. I don't know if you could see it, but those two people up there, way up on those e-bike, they work seem to work for the city to clean up. The one's got a stick stick with a grabber on it. And all she was doing was grabbing stuff and then throwing it over the railing. That was crazy disappointing. She she went over to one piece of garbage, that lady, grabbed it with her little grabbers, and then just went Doop. And then she grabbed another piece. Over and over and over. I had seen them pass by me like three or four times, even way, way back. If that's your definition of cleaning the roads, hoo Not good. All right, we are almost at the destination, just a couple of kilometers away. I am feeling very good. I just left a 7-Eleven. Uh, I must have drank about 10 or 15 bottles today. I drink a lot of liquid, but man, it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. Anyways, I have been thinking that I'd like to replace my brakes. Not just the pads, the whole assembly. I'm gonna check and see what options are available to me. I, I don't necessarily have to replace the calipers as well, but I have found that they wear unevenly and uh, I have not been 100% happy with them in their current state. So, uh, you know, why not take a look at some alternative options? I haven't really done that yet. Wow, this is beautiful. Just a really nice rice field. Contrasting against those white houses. Super cool. And then over here, contrasting against the mountains. Really nice. Uh, I'll check them out. Worst case, I, I can replace them with the same uh, the same style. I feel like the actual piston caliper has gotten stuck a few times and really force forcibly worn my uh, pads strain in a strange way. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see. This is a destination city, anyways, and uh, I'm gonna get settled in. Hey, look! You guys see that up ahead? The Starbucks. Another thing I'm doing, which uh, I think I told you about earlier in the video, is I'm gonna stay here for an extra day, hopefully edit up uh, a lot of the video I took over the last few days. Got some beautiful drone shots, beautiful video. You've already seen it. What'd you think? I thought it was pretty nice. So, we'll just uh, settle down, go to a bike shop first and then settle down and uh, figure some fangs out. Beetle nut. People love to eat beetle nut here. And you know, because when you chew beetle nut too much, it like stains your lips and your and your and your gums red. Teeth and everything red. And uh, there's a bunch of red teeth that I'm seeing. This is sort of an interesting town. I'm riding down this little cobblestone path. I just passed my uh, hostel. I'll go back to it later after I do this bike thing. 
this might be a cool little town. Unfortunately, we're here on a Monday. So, I don't know how much it's going to be throwing down on a Monday. There's a few bike places in town. The first one I'm going to go to is like a Amirda place, but it has a repair shop on it as well. My last resort is uh, going to be Giant. But I, I don't know if Giant will have the calipers. I think they have, definitely have the brake pads, but this place I think says it's a bike repair shop. So let's see. There it is. Let's check it out. All right, left their store. They had one pair, but I'd never heard of the brand. I don't want to get something that's too off. I'd like SRAM or or something like uh, Shimano. They make some really good brakes, and I think I've got like a fairly common brake. Might be really nice for finding replacement pads for it, so that's one thing to chop up as a positive, but I don't know if the reliability in these are, or precision is, is as good. I really hate when the first word out of somebody's mouth is no. Do you guys have any brakes here? No. Is there anybody in town that would sell brakes like this brakes? No, no. He looked at my trike and he instantly said, whatever this guy has, there's no way he's gonna get it here. And I'm like, no, no, these are, these are just common disc brakes. It might look like a strange bike, but it's made with normal components. Oh, 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 no, no. He still wouldn't believe me. So then he came out and he looked, oh, there's a store maybe up here that'll have them. But like, no, no. Just such a, such a downer. Anyways, I'm going to store number three. We'll see. I think I'm gonna reconsider here. That last bike shop showed me a set of uh, brakes that they had from Shimano. They looked good, but they said hydraulic disc brakes. And I don't know, are mine hydraulic? I think mine are mechanical. Although maybe these mechanical disc brakes are, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not smart enough to uh, make a decision because these ones are pretty simple. They're very, very simple. And that simplicity is, it's kind of nice. So I don't want to be too hasty and get in, get in and buy something that I'm not going to be able to utilize or it might be too complicated. I kind of like the mechanical brakes. Um, I'm just going to go to Giant and buy some more pads. I'm pretty sure they'll have replacement pads. And then at least I'll just have those. I mean, I think my calipers are decent. Really, that spring is what messed it up, so um, maybe they'll be good. I'm sure they'll be good for the foreseeable future. My camera is freaking dirty. I need to clean it out with a vacuum cleaner. What the heck is that thing? Can't be good for the road. Did you see those parking parking cones that were getting like pushed, sucked up underneath? Weird. Are you kidding me? When do they open? This is... Next time on the Jio Vlog.
90 minute uh, ferry ride to Green Island. I'll tell you one thing you don't have to worry about here, traffic. That would be a very unique place to sleep. An abandoned, burned out hotel. We're, as long as we don't wake up carried away by ghosts, 